Hello guys and gals and a happy new year to you all and I hope you all had a wonderful winter's day. Uh, speaking of winter's day, I'm going to be doing the winter wonderland jumping puzzle today as it just so happens to be a daily. I know you've probably seen many videos on it which has been done to death but I would be remiss if I didn't do it. So starting from the crown pavilion in Divinity's Reach, you come down this way over to the winter wonderland. And then you go in. I'm going to do something a little special for you today. And I'm going to split the screen three ways. And I'm going to show you each and every path of the jumping puzzle. Or me doing each and every path that is. So enjoy. I have seen so many people complaining about this jumping puzzle, but my best recommendation is doing the Quaggan path, as I personally find it the easiest one to do. Though having said that, many of my friends didn't even realise that there were paths and simply started running from whichever platform they landed on. You know which platform you're on by looking at the figures on each of the platforms. From left to right, you have the Gingerbread Man, the Snowman, and the Quaggan plushies. Now the idea of the jumping puzzle is to get from the first platform to the second platform without falling or running out of health. You will notice that your health drops as you jump along the puzzle, I've said it before and I'll say it again, don't panic. You've got plenty of time to get to the second platform, as long as you keep moving and don't stand around for too long, you'll be fine. It's the second platform where most people fall. Just to rub salt in the wound a little bit, back in the day when the Winter's Day event was first released and was located in Lion's Arch, no less, you could speak to Tix on the second platform and have him give you a checkpoint. So if you fell or died along the second part of the puzzle, you'd return to Tix. But that would give a small hit on the chess reward at the end. But that's all in the past. Nowadays, if you fall, it's back to the beginning you go. The joy. So, from the second platform, you need to make sure you jump at the very last second in order to reach the present steps. If you're alone and willing to wait long enough, another tier of steps will appear as blue presents, making the jump much easier. But I wouldn't count on that happening as other players won't wait around for that. So try to master the last minute leap and you'll be able to get it every time. So then just jump up those steps as quickly as you can. At the top of the steps is a circle platform with a candy cane slope leading down to the boulder section. Try to remember to always dodge onto the candy cane as there is a gust of wind that will kill you if it hits you. So dodge through it, even if it doesn't look active. After that, it's pretty simple. Just stand on each of the sections that is out of the way of the boulders. Don't be a smart ass and try to rush it because as I saw many times during the filming of this video, they all died. Kudos to you guys. I promise you will have enough time to stand on each of the platforms and wait for the boulder to roll past. You should finish the puzzle with over a thousand HP, so don't rush it. And that is all from me for today. I hope this video has helped out anybody who is still having troubles with this jumping puzzle. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all with affections unspeakable. Goodbye.